So the first thing you have to do before you do this is take a shell, and if you look at it, it's pretty shamey. This one isn't that much because I've already done it. What you do is you take a scrubby sponge or a Brillo pad or anything like that, and you just want to go over the entire thing. And it on all it does, you know, it's just it's gonna take a couple of minutes. All it does is it gets that protective layer that the uh, the company puts on there, so that the paint will adhere much better. And you, you know, you just want to do that and just want to get that protective layer off it's really super easy you don't want to use sandpaper because that'll leave way too much uh, grooves in it dark marks and stuff and um yeah I'm gonna use normal uh, sticks normal buttons whoop hit my trot pub uh, normal home button alright guys so what I'm thinking about doing is I have a big bucket of water right there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray onto the top of the water it's going to create a film then I can dunk my uh, my parts right there into the water and it'll coat them It'll be nice and pretty so um I think I'm going to do the sides and the top that's that's good right there I'm not going to put any of that dark blue in so I'm just going to do the purple and the light blue But um, this is actually pretty cool if I dip it like right there, I think it'd turn out pretty neat. Or maybe right, yeah, right there. So I'm gonna go for my second time with this. I'll probably layer up and look nice, so. Um, I hope it turns out decent. Alright, now it's under the water, I'm going to let it harden a little bit while I try to get rid of a lot of the surface stuff. That's pretty cool looking right there. A lot of blending of the color. It's really like thick. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or what. But basically I'm going to let this dry for probably 24 hours-ish. Alright, now I'm going to dip on the sides so hopefully these turn out pretty good um, where's my thing oh it's right here uh, this this looks pretty cool here so doing the same thing just grabbing onto them with these and uh, I think I'm gonna do this one right here I can probably just Pull this one up. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. That looks pretty nice. If I can actually grab that one right there, you can see it's got some good color on it. So I'll set that over here. Um, this one, I think I'm gonna do right there. So just dip it real slow. Bring it down. Oh yeah, look at that one. That one's awesome. That one turned out really nice. These turned out better than the uh, the main part did. So because the main colors on those are cyan and purple, obviously, I'm going to be using the navy blue dark blue color on the base. So I really just want to give it real light pass coats. Don't want any runnage because that will just completely ruin it. So um, I'm going to let these dry for 24 hours and I'll see you when they are dry. I didn't really videotape any of the... Uh the putting it back together because you've seen that plenty of times on my channel so turned out pretty nice I didn't think it was gonna turn out that nice but it, I mean it's not bad 
It's got a nice sheen to it, even though it's matte. It, I mean, everything works perfectly well. Um, this has got pretty nice color. I really like the right side and the far left side. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the middle, but as you see, I painted the D-pad navy. That turned out pretty nice, just like everything else. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole lot more to say about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will have probably more uh, customs in the future. See ya.